So my name is Su Gwen Chung. Uh, my practice uh, has centered around the mark made by hand and the mark made by machine, or what I've been calling that. Essentially trying to find ways to integrate improvisational and intuitive processes with technical and um, algorithmic processes. So that's kind of been the common thread throughout all of my work. I'm equally inspired by the technology, uh, but also um, driving a lot of inspiration from sort of more psychological and more uh, craft-oriented and um, improvisational processes. I kind of feel like there's a lot of different threads in media arts at the moment, and some are more inspired by the hardware and inspired by the technological invention. But mine is more trying to hybridize the two to see what uh, kind of what comes out from it. Absolutely, I'm pretty excited about uh, this next iteration of my practice. This uh, piece behind me kind of started out as a way to explore the drawn line and the improvised line um, and projection technology to create a new sensory environment. Since then, I've worked towards using the gesture as a type of controller for spatial arrangements, and most recently, a collaboration with a robotic arm, uh, which I've named and programmed. Uh, I think part of the practice um, and part of the shift in the practice is to really start thinking about the machine and the technology as uh, not just a, uh, as a medium for exploration, but really as an artistic collaborator. Uh, bringing in a lot of sensibilities of artificial intelligence and uh, performance into this kind of new, strange, uh, strange uh, direction. So I'm very excited about that. I've been doing a lot more research on sort of the rise of automation in our culture and what that'll mean for society in general. And there's a very sort of optimistic viewpoint that can be uh, attributed to that, but there's also a very dystopian um, kind of sensibility um, uh, underneath the surface for it. So given um, that it's pretty much uh, expected that automation and these robotics and these, um, these machine learning uh, ideas will really shape, shape the culture, um, our culture uh, moving forward, I wanted to kind of explore that on a really personal and individual level. It's not really a particularly a utopian or dystopian project but um, I wanted to really highlight the, the relationship of um, human and machine in a very understandable and explicit way as a point of dialogue moving forward. Um, I think it's still fairly, fairly niche, but that's changed a lot over the past few years, which has been really exciting to see. Um, I, my practice is based in New York at the moment, and I found that there's been a lot more institutional support for media arts, it's definitely growing and its visibility is growing as well. I think the, the art market is starting to understand um, this sort of, um, that it's impossible to separate contemporary culture from digital culture these days. So it's making these um, media works and media artworks a lot more relevant because they're speaking so directly to this real paradigm shift in how we think about the society. It doesn't reflect with full comprehensiveness like the modern person as much, right? Even how we communicate is so intertwined with these technologies. To not use these technologies to express ourselves seems like um, a little antiquated. Yeah. There is a lot of collaboration in the media art world, um, and, and that blurred authorship and agency is something that is a facet of how I've been communicating the uh, drawing operations project, which is, which is the uh, collaboration with the robotic arm. As far as within the, the process of working with these technologies, I personally find these types of collaborations um, between individuals really inspiring and interesting um, because we're leveraging a lot of open source code and um, sort of collaborating with these engineers in some way, in some form. Um, it's it's definitely to be expected. In my own practice, however, um, I try to keep things really focused on um, my particular point of view, and I've tried to keep it, um, keep my collaborations and the collaborative aspect of it really um, uh, supplemental or, or secondary to what I'm trying to say, because I'm, I'm trying to uh, really investigate what I think within the project 
And um, I find that having a really singular point of view has really helped me through that. Um, well, it was an honor to come to Istanbul. I've always wanted to come here, as you know. And the exhibition was really interesting. I loved um, how the different um, spaces were broken up. I feel like this level um, and, and sort of the context and the environment in which my piece was shown um, had a focus on environment and gesture um, in, in a way that really housed it um, in an appropriate way. I, I, I appreciated the breadth of the artists involved and in general I thought the, I, I really enjoyed the curation of it. And the people um, that I spoke with uh, at the exhibition as well seemed to come from really uh, diverse industries and diverse interests which was, um, yeah, a real delight uh, being it's my first time in Istanbul.